Landforms of the World Class 4 Social Studies Children, what kind of land is present around your house or school? Is it flat or is it hilly? Are there any water bodies? In this lesson, you will learn about the different landforms of the earth. Mountains, valleys and passes. Plateaus, plains and deserts. Coasts, peninsulas, bays and islands. And rivers. The land covering the earth's surface is not uniform. In some places, it rises high while at other places, it is flat. The different features that make up the Earth's surface is called landforms. There are four main landforms. These are mountains, plains, plateaus, and deserts. Some landforms are formed by forces that act on the surface of the Earth such as water, wind and ice. Some are formed by processes deep inside the Earth. Now let us learn about mountains, valleys and passes. Mountains and hills are rocky masses of land that rise higher than the surroundings. The main difference between the mountains and hills is that mountains have very steep slope and high peaks. Hills are smaller and lower. Mountains usually occur in long rows called mountain ranges. The Himalayas in the north of India is the highest mountain range in the world. Mount Everest, the highest mountain peak in the world, is located in the Himalayas in Nepal. Some mountains are formed when two large land masses push against each other. They are called fold mountains. The Himalayas. The Rockies in North America, and Alps in Europe are fold mountains. Some mountains are formed when molten rock from deep inside the earth rises to the surface, forming a volcano. They are called volcanic mountains. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount Vesuvius in Italy are volcanic mountains. Another kind of mountains are block mountains formed by splitting and sliding of large blocks of land. Examples are Sierra Nevada mountains in the USA and the Black Forest Mountains in Germany. Did you know? High mountain ranges have glaciers or slow-moving rivers of ice. Large rivers originate from these glaciers. The lowland between hills or mountains is called a valley. Valleys are normally found by glaciers or rivers wearing away rocks on mountains. A number of valleys have rivers flowing through them. Famous valleys in India are Kashmir Valley and the Brahmaputra Valley. Did you know? The Himalayan Ranges and Mount Everest were formed about 60 million years ago, when India moving northwards, crashed against the rest of Asia. Mountains have low, narrow, natural gaps called passes. People cross the mountains through these passes. The Khyber Pass in the Himalayas connects Afghanistan and Pakistan. What is Plateaus? A large area of land that is higher than the surroundings are more, or less flat at the top is known as Plateau. The Deccan Plateau in South India covers almost the entire Indian Peninsula. The Tibetan Plateau in the Himalayas is the highest plateau in the world. It is known as the roof of the world. The Columbia and the Colorado plateaus are in the USA. Now let us see plains. Plains are flat lands with gentle slopes. Rivers flowing from the mountains bring fertile soil to the plains. Plains are therefore the most thickly populated areas in the world. The northern plains of India and the prairies of the USA produce large amount of wheat and other grains. Deserts Deserts are large, extremely dry areas of land. There is very little rainfall and very few plants grow in deserts. Deserts have extreme temperatures. 
In summers, the days are very hot and the nights are cool. In winters, the days are cool and the nights are very cold. The important deserts of world are The Sahara Desert in North Africa, it is the biggest desert in the world. The Kalahari Desert in Southern Africa The Atacama Desert in South America The Tar Desert in India Know the fact Hot and dry areas with very little rainfall are not the only kind of deserts. There are also cold desert. These are regions of permanent cold where very little life exists, for example the Antarctica. Let us learn about coasts, peninsulas, bays, and islands. A place where land meets the sea is called coast. Some coasts are sandy and straight, others are rocky. A land mass which projects into the sea and is surrounded by water on three sides is called a peninsula. The tip of a peninsula is called a cape. The southernmost tip of the Indian peninsula is called the Cape Comoran. The Arabian peninsula is the largest in the world. A bay is the water body running into land and surrounded on three sides by land. The Bay of Bengal along the eastern coast of India is an example. An island is a landmass surrounded on all sides by water. Sri Lanka is an island. Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal are a group of islands that are a part of India. Australia is the world's largest island. Rivers Long streams of water are called rivers. Many rivers start in the mountains from melting snow in glaciers. They have water throughout the year, and are called perennial rivers. In South India, rivers are formed by rainwater. They do not have water throughout the year. Such rivers are called seasonal rivers. Rivers, ultimately flow into the sea. Along the course of a river, several smaller rivers join the main river. They are called tributaries of the main river. Before entering the sea, the river becomes very slow. It carries a lot of sediment. This keeps getting deposited on the way, and causes the river to break up into channels or distributaries. These spread out like a triangle before falling into the sea. Such a region is called Delta. The Nile in Egypt is the longest river in the world. Some other important rivers are Mississippi in the USA, the Congo in Africa, and the Ganga in India. In history, we find that great civilizations have always developed along rivers, as this oil is richest here and the rivers provide water for drinking, domestic and agriculture purposes. What I learned from this lesson? Look at the quick summary. There are four main landforms, mountains, plains, plateaus, and deserts. The lowland between hills or mountains is called a valley. Long streams of water are called rivers. A bay is the water body running into land and surrounded on three sides by land. A landmass that projects into the sea and is surrounded by water on three sides is called a peninsula. A large area of land that is higher than the surroundings are more or less flat at the top is known as a plateau. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.